It's 1988. Do you know where your children are? Sneaking out of detention, again. Playing that evil new game, Dungeons and Dragons, that your friends on the PTA warned you about. Arguing amongst themselves. Battling monsters and the other children at school. Guiding a herd of goats into a swimming pool. And arguing amongst themselves. Find us wherever you listen to podcasts. Dungeon Calling. Who buys a possum? Well, that's what I was asking you. <laughs> Dungeon Calling. Hey. Hey, episode Troll Lieutenant Dan here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D&D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. <laughs> So I went back down to the lab and I found potions and using those potions I made one fully complete set of human child skeleton armor. Mm. Did you mean physical? <coughs> well, Miss Lovin, I'm impressed. <laughs> Between you, me, and 320 million areoleans, is there someone special, a significant other in your life? I wish I would have thought my to make child, the child only suit other armor. Significant to me in my life. Well, uh, other than Nigel, because without Nigel, none of this would be possible. What is Michael's absolute best day? The absolute best day was the day that Hogan told me he was my friend. And Leroy was my friend. I don't and think you said that to him. I I'm also just going to pee on like the walls, too, just to, just to add. And Grey Matter made cookies. That I don't remember those cookies. Yeah. Kind of like cardboard. No, I remember those but cookies. That was a real day. They good. Yeah. So, I, I, I look yeah. back upon that day. and uh, We'll be back, really Kreese. Love you. They're doing the best that they can, so I've got to try really hard, too. Claimer, we are adults and use adult language which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire. Areola's vacation. Follow along as the NPCs are on a savage world vacation in the kingdom next door. They finally get to taste what it's like to be a PC in the module of the Necromantic Empire. Will they try to enjoy their vacation? Are they ready for what awaits them? Or will they do their vaguely defined job of spying on the kingdom of morally questionable wizards? Thanks for listening to a radio adventure. Please stand. Have a great adventure away. Or not. Yeah. Remember that you are on your own once you cross the threshold to adventure. Make sure you have your life token. The doors are opening. Oh, can remind me to scribe. As scry the doors open, you see a white. <laughs> okay, he disappears. And stop at 10 feet into the room. Okay. <laughs> it's a bright white room, well lit up, I should say, hallway. Uh, the walls seem to have this weird pattern as if it's uh, window panes, but instead it's white. Very well lit. As a. Uh, Kreeth runs in and stops in the very first 10 feet. He doesn't seem to really cast a shadow either. Light's coming from almost all the directions. Oh, it's mm. so bright. Oh, God. I want my shadow back. I want it back. I oh. miss it. No, my shadow friend's gone. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Oh. Well, I guess we just... It's, a, it's just a level three dungeon. It should be fine. Let's just... Cautiously and blindingly walk our way through the main hall. Yeah. Oh. Hey, didn't you want to go number six to get some money? Like, six is supposed to be the money one, right? You know, yeah, six was supposed to be money, but when Gray said that they didn't understand what mana was, I, I feel like we really needed to make a trip here. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. No, I, I understand what mana is, but who is mana? No. <laughs> so, uh, Why? the long hallway, uh, what are you doing? Uh, just kind of investigating it as we go. Like, is there anything on the walls? Like, any any interesting like? Oh, they, they're really there. Carvings and whatnot, or no? They're 
white with the black borders look like framing like a like like you'd the grid work you'd see in a uh, a window pane or something. All right, I go touch some of that with my paw. It's solid wall. Even though you hit it, you can see the light emanating on it. No shadows form on your hand though, because there's also just as much light behind you, and it's almost as smooth as glass. I don't like it. It's like just a magic breakable. Oh, hang on a sec. Breaking glass. I mean, you, I, yeah, I'm sure you could try. I need to know which one. Which one do you want to break? Which one? Which one? Which one? How are you feeling, by the way, Bluter? This is a lot of magic in a zone. Yeah, it's magic. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know about... Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, um, mediocre treasure. Um, northwest section. There's a little bit to the east. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe we'll learn a nice big lesson here about magic. Hopefully. Magic. 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 Mm. All right. So, Cookie, which wall are you going to break? You've had a lot. Which one? Um, I'm going to walk forward three large paces, turn to the right, and then just break the wall there. Or try to, at least. Uh, so, you, you give it a big old kick with your hindquarters or whichever hoof you want to and it's very similar to the time you kicked the, uh, the kiosk scry and it was practically immovable oh my knees my little fingers that are my entire leg that hurt <laughs> oh that I just don't know how I could do that like yeah. I could try and walk on tippy toes but no no hmm. Hmm. I have these big, ugly, three-toed goose feet down here. <laughs> so this uh, hallway is 128 feet long, and it yep. ends at a door. All right. Um, I guess we're going to cautiously open that bad boy up and take a peek. You open it up, and inside is a uh, long hallway, sort of, with basically you go eight foot feet in. There's two eight foot by eight foot pillars to the left and right. You have the option of going left and right. Those openings are eight feet as well. What are you doing? It's well lit. You can actually see the. there's a statue about... Uh, 48 feet. Yeah, 48. There we go. Uh, and past that, there's even more pillars. You can tell from this point that there's a total of eight of those pillars with the statue in the middle of them. Uh, but from this angle, you can't see much more. But you can see it all the way across the room. Does Dang. this statue look like the other statues we've seen? No. Mm. What does this statue look like? New statue. I, I will notice. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to notice. Yes. Looks like a warrior of some sort. The face has this really ugly grimace, uh, large flaring uh, aventail on the back of the helmet, uh, huge shoulders, uh, big elaborate uh, uh, chest plate, and they're carrying a, a pole that's probably about a little more than uh, four thirds their length total, with a two foot blade at the end. Oh, and, and the, that grimacing face. It's, there's tusks coming out of the mask, and it looks very uh, menacing. I want to lick it. As you lick it, you think somewhere at the far north end you hear a uh, squeak of some sort. It's it's not related to you licking it, but... Uh, you no, lick it again. It. It's definitely that because of that. Oh, lick it again. Yeah, lick it, it again. It doesn't happen. It's working. All right. Um, as you lick it, a um, bit of shit hits your face from the uh, north as it just comes flying at you. A little oh. poop. Poop, yeah. Oh. I See, it did do something. I take a sample. <laughs> Might need uh, it later. Uh, I think there's something to the north. And I, I know too. for a fact that it has some shit. And if you look that way, you see what looks like a monkey sitting on the throne that's there. I and it's laughing and is bringing its hand back and getting ready to fling something again. And you see this glob flying t- towards you. It's just tumbling in the air. And uh, see. <laughs> it hits gray matter right in the face. Ah. You hear the monkey in the background. All, Rude. <laughs> I throw my gas bomb at it. <laughs> no, because you gave that to me. I had more than one. Well, okay. You, you think you, I only you had enough the gas? gas bomb at it, and yeah. since it's so light, it just kind of goes about five feet in front of you and then drops to the ground. There's no real weight behind it to Damn it. throw it. 
Should have pooped rocks a, in it. Should have pooped in it. I uh, hear I should have. If you want some poop, I have some on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Here. What are we doing? God, what has this encounter already turned into? Hello. I will sprint up to the monkey and stop in front of the throne and the playful bow and start wagging my tail. I want a pet monkey, guys. Do you guys want a pet monkey? Because I, I kind of want no. a pet monkey. I don't think this monkey's a pet. Uh, you could totally be a pet ugly. monkey. Hi, my name's Kreeth. Okay. It's yeah, Kreeth, try to make friends with it. shit at you. <laughs> I'll poop on the ground and start, like... Digging my back claws and spreading the smit scent. It screams at you, brings what looks like a uh, monkey-sized club and starts getting ready to take a swing at you. And at that point, I'm going to have everybody roll initiative. 10. 17. 19. 10. Overachiever. All right. Uh, 19 gets to go first, but as you are getting ready to take your action, you see what looks like armor coming out of the monkey's skin and forming around it. Ew. <laughs> oh, and two wings start spreading out too, but there's not enough height for it to fly in here. Oh my god, it's a magic flying monkey! <sighs> I've never even heard of something like this! What are you gonna do? Well, I think it's a it's a combat situation, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, uh... I'm not gonna let this get away. Oh my god, this is awesome! I take out the sack of sacks, and I'm going to run up and attempt to just throw the sack of sacks over the monkey and catch it. How far can you run in an action? Because I'm assuming you're at the statue right now, because Screeth is the only one who closed the d- distance. I believe my normal movement speed is the 30 feet around. So where are we Where are we at precisely? Is it 40 feet away? It's 40 feet. 40 feet? Yep. Okay. Oh, I could go for a Hail Mary shot and just see if I could throw the bag of the sack of sacks over the monkey. Well, no, because it, the, the air the, doesn't the work right. Range wouldn't wouldn't function in that manner. No. Yeah. You'd have to you'd have to get much closer. Then I'm just gonna shoot him with an arrow, and we're gonna hopefully pin him down. That'll be what I'm planning to do. What actually happens is gonna be entirely different. Uh, let's see, fighting and it's well, you're right. shooting. It wouldn't be the... it's agility and shooting. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's right. I don't have shooting. So nope. We just have bluter knife for this one. Ah, oh, stupid conversions. You couldn't get everything. <laughs> All right. So me and Bluter Knife are just going to okay. start making our way up there. I think if, okay. like, could I run and attack in the same turn or? I'm going to say no because that's outside your your, uh, your range. All right. Then I will run up, sack of sacks in one hand, Bluter Knife in the other. Okay. Like, I'm going to get this. It's a uh, monkey. It's so funky. Funky monkey. Who had 17? Me. Uh, me. Oh, okay. Sorry. Go. What are you going to do? Um, I want to cast Summon Ally. Okay. Um, but I want, would like to make it look like another monkey. Okay. In hopes to. I uh, got a five and a two. Oh, um, so seven. Your monkey-ish thing comes out. Yes. And now the monkey attacks. Uh, Kreeth, of course. And, and, yeah, Kreeth, right. Kreeth's butt's just hanging out in front of him, ready to play. Of course, I'm there, too. Does a 13 hit you? That's my, that beats my parry. Your toughness, does a 7 beat your toughness? No. All right, it slams down and just kind of nicks you, but nothing happens. <laughs> Next. We play. I uh, believe Cookie has the fastest parry, so, or mm-hmm. uh, Pace. agility. Uh, so, yeah, take it, Cookie. Magic missile. Okay, I got nine total. It's definitely hurt and shaken at this point. Uh, you see one of the wings kind of uh, flare up. Next. Uh, you want to play? I'll play. And I go to try to jump on it and pin it to the ground and rip off one of its wings. Roll. Uh, one success, six. It's one enough. Roll damage. Oh yeah, roll your damage. Twelve. Cat, no. You uh, you do some damage. You don't rip a wing off, but it's not a happy monkey. And uh, that brings us back to. Uh, yep, me. You happen to see there's two monkeys up there now. Wait, why are there two of them? You don't know. Which one are you attacking? The one that Kreeth is bloodied up pretty good and uh, just some reason had a wing kind of go on it as well? Uh, or the one that's next to you? No, nope, I'm bagging the one next to me. Do you want me to make an agility check on that or... Gotta catch them all. Do a fighting. Uh, fighting, I'm assuming, if that's what you're striking at. Trademark fight. Well, I'm using the sack of sacks, so... Okay, you're going to try to catch it. Uh, fighting, okay. Gonna, I'm assuming there's going to be resistance. Oh, yeah. Six all together, but... Mm. You managed to get it up. Hooray! Okay. Uh, 
Guys, look, I caught a monkey. Is that my monkey? It's my monkey. I caught it. I get to keep it. I caught it with your sack of sacks. Does that make you feel better about it? No, I mean, I summoned a monkey. Is that my monkey? Oh, shit. Wait. Is this your monkey? I forgot where I summoned it. <laughs> spank it. Spank it. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Yeah. This one looks like it's just transparent blue and kind of ghostly. Is this... Yeah. Yeah, it's my monkey. Son of a bitch. All right, well, here... Didn't you see me summon it? I was focused on monkey, and then I got there, and there was two monkeys. He was, like... uh, You were behind him. How can you see it? Honestly. (sighs) God. Well, here's your fucking fake monkey back. What are you going to do with him? Thank you. He's going to use it to catch the other monkey. So the, um... (laughs) Oh, there's construction going on in the dungeon next door. (sighs) Yeah. That, is that me? Is that somebody's cry? You're sitting there. The, try, the monkey's trying to escape and ends up ripping its own wing off in the in the attempt and just goes limp. Because because I rolled two ones. Oh, <laughs> I gratefully take the wing back to Gray Matter, just trotting. <gasps> Thank you. I'm gonna put this in my my sack of sacks for later. Uh huh. That's an alphabet wing. It doesn't yeah. say he's dead though. Hey. Wake up. Nothing happens. Okay, so he's dead, monkey. But here, put this in the bag, too. Nice. <laughs> here, Hulk, carry this. All right, the monkey's <laughs> fairly heavy, so you're, you're going to have to be slowed down. for Whoever's that's, carrying that's it. Why yeah, that's why I'm So it's you? It okay, yeah, me. it's no big deal. Hey, Cookie, yeah. do you want to carry this? Sure, I have a large carrying capacity. And yeah. also, let's take the armor just, off of the just little Just don't eat first. all of it, it okay? Will you at least save me a toe? I, I actually really, really hate monkeys, so I'm not going to eat this thing. Okay. That's weird. You only eat what you like? Is yeah, it, that's usually how it works. Is it because it's I furry? die, you have my permission to eat my body. Oh, thank you. She's done yeah. it once before already. I know, but I just wanted her to know that she can. It still means a lot. Yeah, it means a lot if you give her permission, guys. Have you given her permission? I haven't died. That's what real friends do. They can, eat each other. Can we agree that... He can't have babies, but he can have the right to have babies. One of the what? few movie quotes he's actually going to know. Solidarity, brother. Solidarity. What, yeah. movie's, what movie's that from? Life of Brian. I don't think I've ever watched Loretta. that one. I want to be known as Loretta. <laughs> Nothing. Watch the movie. Chris, you need to watch the movie with me. <laughs> All right, Good so movie. you're trying to take the armor off the, um, the monkey, and you see it kind of recessing back into its fur. And it was part of the... Skin. Oh, no, you don't. I grab it, and I just try to, like, strength rip the armor off of the monkey's body. Okay, you end up pulling, you start skinning the monkey. I grab a scalpel, I grab a scalpel blade and start helping. Okay, yeah, you're just skinning a monkey. There doesn't seem to be... There's no armor. Nope. All right, well, look, if we're going to make this look even more awful, there's poop everywhere, blood all over the floor, and we're just going to leave this flayed little monkey body yeah. laying right here in the middle of well, this While well, I'm at it, male or female, I take the reproductive organs. And then we destroy the throne because that's what we do in every one of these dungeons. You should write on the wall something with its poop. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I take, I like, take, I take, oh, oh, guys, I guys. Take blood and I start writing on the walls, go red Set rum. Poop. You said poop. Come on, be like a monkey. Yeah, come on. In the spirit of everything, here. Let's do both. Well, what are you going to write? Mariola sucks. Rum. Necromantic empire forever. Nigel's coming for you. Mind Goblin was here. Goblin King your wins. <laughs> At your mom. <laughs> okay. Goblin yeah. King rules all. <laughs> Parentheses. So who's going to king? Who's going to destroy the um, the the throne? Oh, I will. I'll just kick it over while we're standing there writing on the walls. Okay. Roll agility. Oh, oh yeah, they're all trapped. Whoopsies. <laughs> Why do you forget every time? I sleep in between dungeons. Also, okay. I have a summon ally. We could have just used it. So we got nine all together. All right, you start. Not trying to knock it over, and you just see the floor come out from underneath, and you keep from falling in. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that one's deep. Look down there, guys. That's it's what she a, said. It's a white light that just, just, you can't even see the bottom. It's just all illuminated, just like the rest of the whole of the room. I don't know. I, I'm partially blinded I again. go up to looking at it, and while Hogan's staring into the bright light, I bump him. You. <laughs> I use my summon. Su- Bastard. I send my summon ally to try to catch him. I could also just, you know, grab you. That's, I'm fully expecting that. Great, though! Okay, roll the grab. Nine. 
I'm a very heavy dog. What's your parry? My parry's six. Okay. He managed to grab you, but just roll uh roll your agility just just to see just don't critical failure, you know. Cuz you know, he's a rather big goblin with a monkey on his shoulder. 11. Okay. And a 5. No problem. You you, you hold as he's hanging <laughs> off your your fur and I look at Cookie while they're doing this and be like, should we just like push him in? I think we could do better on our own. I can hear you. Yes, let's do that. Okay. No, that's I, a great I, idea. Kreeth, run. Kreeth, run. Go now. <laughs> I try to use my, my summon issue. ally to, to uh, push. Oh, why are we doing this? The f- in party fighting, you gotta do it. The fastest way I can get away is jumping in myself. You gotta roll the initiative so you get a chance. 19. Ooh. Four. <laughs> Two. Fifteen. All right, nineteen. Go first. All right. I like I said. I, I use my summon ally to just try to push them in the hole. Oh God, no, ghost <laughs> monkey, don't. Uh, okay, roll the strength. Uh, How strong is your ally? Not that strong, in all honesty, but five. Okay. Uh, Pretty sure that. <laughs> uh, what's your toughness? Mine. Yeah. Eighteen. Alright, nothing. Next. Damn. Who's next? Uh, I let Hogan go, but I jump in the hole. <laughs> because I'm you getting can't away. let Hogan go. He's holding you. I fling him like a rope toy. Do you go with it and let him fling you? Sure. Alright. Out of the hole as I jump in, because I'm going to hide. All right, you're, 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 you're thrown free and you jump in the hole? Yes. Alright. <laughs> So Kreeth is, is falling and falling and falling and falling. And now back to you guys. Yeah, I actually so, kind of wanted Kreeth. The that... three of you are, are up there. Oh. There's a big hole. Guys, we can't kill each other here. We have very few life counters each. They <laughs> were expensive. But I want to eat your corpse. Look, when we get back to the Necromantic Empire, I'm sure I'll die there. I have to clean Tchotchke's cages when we get back. I think he's still falling. Yeah, I see him. Well, he's one of the many specks in my eyes right now from yeah. all the light. I want to yell down the hole. Hey! I don't think he can hear you. No. It's too far. I send my ally after him. <laughs> okay. It's 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 probably like... <laughs> your ally falls. As deep wow. as your mom. Uh, what, what, are the, what are the three of you doing? <laughs> I guess we're going to continue forward and just wait for <laughs> Kreeth to respawn. Well, which way is forward? Yours, you're at the wall with the, yeah. with the throne. Yeah, we're at the wall with the, the where the throne was, mm-hmm. writing graffiti on the wall and poop. Yeah. Um, with a skinned monkey over my shoulder and a sack of mini sacks with the monkey's skin in it. Yeah. Oh. Was it the first one, technically? <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's fine. <laughs> um, do we order a pizza? I mean, are they going to bring it while we're in the dungeon? Well, I was just thinking, like, maybe we can pick it up after we're done. Well, hang on. Mine's my imp is busy. Can you get it on yours? Okay, and pull up my imp. Hogan, you are being summoned. You oh, are being shit. summoned. It's the fun scry. Hello. Pick up. No, it's it's your regular scry, the one the oh. imp is thinking. Oh. And gray matter. Yeah. Hogan picks up. Hey, I'd like to order a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to hang up because Hogan answered. And the advertisement said you had to hang up if it's Hogan. <sighs> hang up. Call again. The future is now. Yo, this is Dice Edge. What can I do for you, man? Huh? Hey, I'd, I'd like to order a pizza. Oh, uh, yeah. What type do you want? Mm. Uh, do you do you have a, a Wavern? Um, I want pineapple on it. Pineapple Wavern? Oh, uh, yeah. We can do that one. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. uh, what size? Ooh, um, extra large. Extra large, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Three extra large. Well, well, did you want all of the same one? or? Well, no, you want, you want yeah. Raw meat. Raw meat. Can we raw eat a meat. raw meat raw pizza? Meat. Yeah, we're dice heads. We do whatever you want, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. can we get a raw meat pizza? Okay. Extra sauce, cookie, or no? Um, can I get, like, medium sauce? Medium sauce? Yeah, we can do medium sauce. Huh? Yeah. What do you think Kreeth would want when he's back? Get him something covered in dog bones. Yeah. Can we get a dog bone pizza? Yeah. Like well, not do that. actual dog bones, but oh. like like the milk bone Bummer, dog dude. bone type teas. 
Oh, the, the, the dog bones sound like it'd be really good. It probably would be, but you know, maybe we'll get that one on the side too. I, he, uh-huh. since you know he is kind of like dog-ish, it seemed rude to put real dogs on it. Ooh, do you have monkey? Oh um, yeah, can we, we get monkey bread pizza. Monkey bread pizza? Yeah, we yeah. can do that, dude. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, with balls. With balls. Uh huh. Yes. What Step type? Crust. Ooh, what was that? Stuff crust. Stuff crust. You're not there, shut. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what type of balls? Yeah. Um, um, testicles. Yeah. Yeah. You know how many creatures have testicles? Come I, on, dude. No. What? Well, oh, um, 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 tennis um, balls. Okay. Tennis balls. Tennis Got ball. it down. Fine. Fine. I was okay. thinking about getting that. Um. Oh my God. What? What are the animals that they're they're neutering all over the place? Tabaxi. Yeah. Tabaxi yeah. okay. balls. Okay. Yeah. Tabaxi, 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 tabaxi testicle tabaxi. pizza. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. Tabaxi taxis. Let's go. Oh, with yeah. with or without the rabies. Ooh, mm. Can we get a mix? Yeah, let's oh, do a yeah, mix. Okay. Get yeah. the mix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, sounds like you make it extra spicy. By the way, we are in the middle of Dungeon 3. Is that still deliverable? Oh, absolutely. No problem there. Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, that's uh, to, to, to the extra in delivery of 532. Uh, I'll go ahead and charge that now. Enter scry. Okay. Right, it cleared. Yeah. Uh, five can you, can you actually charge that to, to Leroy or Mikey? Who? No. Mikey. Who? Don't worry no. about it. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, dude. All right, bye. Later, man. Oh, yeah, we need to call Mikey. No, we don't. Mikey is busy doing what Mikey needs to do to get by in the world. Didn't you hear him earlier? Yeah, but We like... can tell him we're proud of him <clears throat> later. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Hold up. He is the Goblin King. <laughs> oh, no. He's just taking care of the Goblin King shit. Yeah. He's yeah. doing a way better yeah, job than us. Uh-huh. He really is. I'm really impressed by him making all that kid yeah. armor. I'm so glad we trapped him in insurmountable debt for our own benefit. Yeah. Oh, I, really? By the sounds of it, he's already cleared his debt. I mean, look how much money they're making. It's, they got a pot of 500 gold pieces. 500. Yeah. Was it 500? Yeah, it was just 500. 500, 500 yeah. gold piece pot. Yeah. I, I pull up my scribe like, hey, Imps, t- tell Mikey we're proud of him. <laughs> All right, so now what are you doing in this room? <laughs> uh, now I'm going to investigate everything, you know. Cautiously destroy the thrones in the back without okay. getting too close. Scrounging some stuff up, you're getting ready to leave, and then one of the walls kind of creaks creaks open. Uh, try a delivery service. Does anybody have some pizza here? Hmm? Oh yeah, that's us. All right, here you go. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the tennis ball ones, I'm not sure of, but the meat one, oh, it smells good. I hope you enjoy it. Uh huh. Hey, thanks, I'm guys. Well. Mm-hmm. And just yeah. before he, oh yeah, sorry, uh-huh. sorry. Yeah. Uh, your tip for uh, that. Let's oh, see here oh. I got. Uh, how about uh, 10, 10 gold sound good for you? That's Dana? very generous of you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you yes. so much. And just before he shuts that wall mm-hmm. leaving, I'm going to wedge the bluter knife in the crack. Okay. You put it in the crack and the bluter knife breaks. <laughs> Ow. What? Job, Hogan, you murdered That's it. That's what she said. I've been waiting. I've been looking for a way to do that cookie. Thank you. But yeah, seriously though, like I didn't know the door was gonna be that heavy. It's magic. And so are you. I know. Magic and magic. I guess we mix. Yeah. I'm short. How At bent? least I can still flame. God, how I bent think. are you? Like a boomerang now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, about uh, about a foot of the uh, tip has been actually just cleanly sliced off. Ah, shit. Now we gotta feed you more swords. Hopefully. I hope that works. Yeah, that would help. Hold on, let me see. No. No, not this level. Uh, at least I might can still tell there's gold in here. Am I bleeding? Tell me, am I bleeding? Does this, does no, this you're, no, you're... Does you're... this make my ass look big? <laughs> it kinda does. I mean, yeah. It does, comparatively, man. yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if there's two of me now. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, that means you can be someone else's problem then, too. <laughs> you know, I'm okay with it. Let him forge yeah. you. I, you know, I'm, I'm, you circumcised me, Daddy. I'm religious now. Uh, Circumcision's wrong, Hogan. You hey, have permission first. Hey, it was accidental, okay? <sighs> I didn't know the doors. I was just going to try and, like, oh, give yeah. us a backdoor si- situation. I feel like accidental circumcision is a lot worse <laughs> than purposeful. I would agree. Yeah, I didn't say it was better, but at least it's an accident. Oh. All right. Well, onward to the next room. Okay. Good news is, though, is now you're kosher. 
Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, mazel tov. <laughs> About that time. Just writing a note that says, Bluter broken, smad face. Oh. Kreeth <laughs> uh, materializes in the room. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're back. We got you this. <gasps> we got you a dog treat and tennis ball pizza. <laughs> Thank you. Let me mark off one of your lives on your card. <laughs> God, just. I love the sounds you're making. He's loving this. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to actually eat the tennis balls. I think they're just more toy. They're mostly melted in. I, so. I mean, they're small compared to him. I mean, it's mm, like feeding a regular dog a grape. Mm, pineapple wyvern. Mm. Mm, except grapes would make the dogs have to go to the vet, so. Yep. Meat, 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 meat. Oh, is there a vet How's here? The How's the meat? How's the meat? I love the meat. <laughs> <laughs> the meat. So sweet. Meat, 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 meat. Meat, meat, meat. This makes me think of that, that, that movie, what was it? They get the dragon to fall into the, the water, and the water's not as deep as they thought it was, and all those people are like sewing there going, meat, meat, meat. Mm. Yeah. You I don't remember that, that one. I know, shut up. I remember that one. That's a classic. I know you do, but Kreef, over the head. Like, you would think with how tall he is, he's getting most of these jokes, but nope, smack, and um, not right over the head. Nope. We are yeah. loving these bad boys. Well, it's all pure, huh? Gotta mm-hmm. keep the mana pure. But on that note, you remember that, well, why didn't all your graffiti go away? That stayed. Yeah, uh, I know. Honestly, oh, there's a puppy Let's poop again. on the floor. Yes. Please. I think Hi. we must defile everything about this dungeon in every way possible. There's a puppy on the okay, screen. Okay, I immediately I'm, shit on the floor. I'm immediately distracted. <laughs> and we'll shit on the floor, too. Okay. Since that's what um, the cool kids are doing. You shit on the floor. Yeah. And I grab, um, like, grab Kreeth's poop and I smear it with a stick because I don't so want to touch it. This, Your poop finger, okay. This stays, but everything else disappears. So magical stuff doesn't last. <laughs> or at least whatever we do doesn't last. Paint a door. Which door? Oh. Uh, new door. Well, there's three new doors. No. No, you have one, two, three, four, five, and six doors. Jesus Christ. I go to an eight-foot panel of wall, and I paint a new door on it, complete with a door handle. Okay. And I grab the handle and see if that does anything. Nothing happens. <laughs> now I've got poop all over me. <laughs> so now it's time to <laughs> roll in it. Now, H- Hogan, what were you thinking there? You had, you, had a, you had a thought forming. Well, it's just that if everything, if it's about keeping mana pure, and everything else disappears but what we non-human unworthy beasts would create uh-uh. I cast healing on the door I just think that it's uh, you know if we defile the mana instead of preserving it like they gotta come in here and clean the whole fucking dungeon when we're done cause it's obviously not coming off the walls right you got 8 hours to be in here you've probably wasted a good hour that's 7 hours to try to wipe poop all over the walls. You've got a horse and a dog. Sorry, Warg. Yeah. And I don't think it matters. Well, you're not you don't you know how much you know how much food you got to order just to feed him so that he poops enough and you're not gonna have eight hours to do that. Oh no, you're right, you're right. We have okay, the endless we have the endless cornucopia of food. Uh huh. Which is magic. Yep. Guess what, what we can do with, you with magic? We open Crete's mouth like so, wedge the cornucopia right about here so it just goes right into his throat hole. Okay, I want you to roll your smarts. Go ahead, roll, roll it, Daddy, roll it. Gotta roll my smarts? Yeah. Uh, don't do this to me, that's uh-huh. not good. I can just make a poop bomb instead of a needle bomb. I got an eight for my smarts. You realize you got a good chance of choking your butt out there and... <laughs> Look, it'll go. only pour food if you tip it in a certain direction. See? Head down, no food. Head up, <laughs> food. Yes, but his stomach might explode, and then he might die again, and then there goes another life oh, token. R- roll a vigor. Okay. Yeah. Vigor. Yeah. Kreeth, roll a vigor. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on what is in there, there can be a lot of chicken bones in there. It's going to be really painful coming out. Oh, yeah. It's any food. Eight. 
Okay. Uh, he's choking. Uh, <coughs> oh, crap. All right. I, <laughs> this out I, of his I throat. Put the, yeah. put you, the you didn't pass I do out the because you, you, you did that, at least. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, I can just make a bunch of poop bombs. Magic. Or we could just step <laughs> in the poop, and then it would come with us everywhere we went. I mean, that's fair. Hey, hey I got stuff I got to make idea. an enema. What do you got? Um, oh, ramen. Hello, little, little kid. Oh, ramen. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, ramen. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh, what we could do is take ramen here and slice it into four pieces, and everybody gets to go wipe the walls with ramen. Yeah. I don't think Raymond liked that idea. Kreeth, do you all. like that idea, Daddy? Oh, I felt weird. I don't know if I like to call Kreeth Daddy. Yeah, I... Mm, that's weird. That's my job. All right, Hogan. All right. I don't know. Raymond seems kind of excited, though. Yeah. We, we could scare Raymond enough that she does the skunk thing. Oh. oh. Hey, what about so your far. skunk? Oh, mine just sits in my backpack all the time. Well, why don't you just use it? We don't really have that many good opportunities right Here, now. Here, I pull, I pull Skunk's tail. <laughs> All right. Wait, we should do it in another room. We already pooped up this room. Too late. <laughs> Look, we can poop and skunk up half the dungeon. It's fine. I would say you have about two more charges before he needs to reload. Yeah. All right, and then we got Raymond, so, yep, yep. All right, let's yeah, start okay, skunking yeah, the dungeon. Use, use Raymond's tank clan, too. But, like, spread it out. Not that so close to the area. And besides, don't forget, Kreeth has scent glands. God yeah. knows how many gallons could just be, like, backed up in there. True. Oh, yeah. Express Wait. your anal glands. Wait. Not Wait. here. Wait. It's Wait. all in the same room. We got to keep going. <laughs> no, we're just uh, going to make this employee room inaccessible for is, all employees. This, like this should be the worst room we do, though. So we're going to go <laughs> just, I think this is a good opportunity where we could almost just, like, montage this. Like, we're going to go room to room. Every okay. room in the dungeon, open every door, and it's just going to get flung full of shit and vomit. We are going to piss on everything. Make I sure c- you hit the doorknob so they have to grab it to open it. Absolutely. Okay. Upper oh, deckers yeah. in every toilet in the bathroom. <laughs> every fucking one of them. Okay. Any bodily fluid we can make is going on a surface in this dungeon. Do we all understand the plan? <laughs> I can't cry. So no tears. But you can sneeze snot like six feet around you. Yeah, in a string. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, look at the drool. You, you say you can't make... Look how much drool you make. Just think about making drool. All right, so you're, you're desecrating, you're desecrating, you don't find any treasure there. You make it to the bathroom, and you see this elderly wolf anthropomorphic thing sitting there who's kind of, it's speckled, pe- uh, like a peppered, uh, that's what I'm looking for, salt, a salt, salt and pepper, pepper uh, look, because he's so old. Oh, he's so got his cute. Tusk sticking up and down. He's like, mm. Hi, my name's Creep, he, him. Hi, Creethy him. My name is Fang. Hi, Fang. Nice to meet you. Um, bathroom's there. It smells like you need him. Uh, nope. Well, partially. <laughs> hey, by the way, I got we got a question. Which room has the big treasure in it in this level? Because we've been having a hard time finding uh, it. The big treasure? Uh, that's the, the main monster who's... Um, a uh, simple way, if you leave here, you uh, hit that main hallway, go north, and just before it turns into that other room, which is filled with traps, uh, about 24 feet from that corner, no, 16 feet from that corner, you'll find a, a secret door. Awesome. Real easy to open, but easy to miss. Too. Right on, hey, 50 gold for you for the troubles, my friend. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will tell you Did that... Did we save uh, any pizza for Bang? The, the, the big monster... Uh, He's not friendly. Oh, not going to be much of a talker. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the big spider wasn't either. Yeah, unless you can actually speak their language. Because we got some people who don't speak common. Right oh, here. that's fair. We uh, don't speak common either. What language do they speak? Uh, well, there's the Ariolus dialects, and then the uh, the big monster, uh, some 
He's a weird troll, but he's from another dimension of some sort or something. I don't know. And uh, dungeon of internet. He spings really, really uh, angrily. Oh, Russian. Like, like if I was to say something, he would let you go, and I have no idea what that Korean. means. Korean. Maybe I don't know what's Korean. Or Korean these stunts. <laughs> I don't know. Got him. Yeah. But at least I still have mine. Dog. <laughs> Oh, rude. I think we call that one a touche. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got him. Got him, coach. Oh, yeah. I felt that one. All right. Hey, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. No what, problem. What do you do uh, for fun? Thanks for the tip. Uh, uh, there's this guy named uh, uh, True. A, a True. Uh, it's so long. I've been chasing him and trying to kill him, and I got nothing. Oh. Well, if I find him, do you want me to kill him for you? I see sure. Him? And remind him of his horse before you, you say true. Kill him too. A, a true, a tri, a tri, a tree. I don't. My old timers. So, is getting so to just, me. just uh, anyone with the name True Tree, just no, kill. No, at 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 True. Uh, at true. At true. He's got, yeah. got all. This is going to be a never-ending story. At true. Oh, but he seems so cool. Yeah. Do you want to join our party? Uh, I got a pretty. Cush job here. I mean, they give me my meds and I'm okay. We're pretty cushy here. Honorary member. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, we already have one canine friend. Yeah. We have another. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Solidarity. Woof. woof. Yeah. He knows uh, the secret handshake. Oh, yeah. Or paw shake. I, uh, uh, yeah. We still call it a handshake. We might have to kill her. Well, why? Yeah. I'm planning on it. I say that in warg. <laughs> uh, any, anything else like, yeah, yeah. we need? I don't know. I think that's about it. Okay. Oh, um, that that troll guy. He'll um, he's got a he's got a hammer. No club. Does he have club, any favorite yeah. snacks? No, I don't know. Okay. Probably thought, people. I thought we can bribe him. Do you think the cornucopia get, like pours out people, people meat? I have no idea. Huh. If it did, I think Cookie would be eating it more often. Do, huh. do, does 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 Fang want a snack? Because can we give? I would love a snack. Can we give Fang some snack out of cornucopia, yeah. please, Cookie? Oh yeah. Okay. What snack would I, you like? Oh, I want. I want a lemon meringue pie. Lemon meringue pie, lemon meringue pie, lemon meringue pie. Oh, then I tip it over. Oh, uh, now I can die. GM's not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Damn, Fang, you're really... A, now you can die. Jeez, all right. Yeah. Now we broke the fourth wall. Mm. Cushy, <laughs> cushy job and meds aside. Fuck it. Fang will, Fang will do what you want for pie. That's right. I understand, though. It's one of the best, the better ones. If one, you want to yeah. join us now, I understand. The, the yeah, cornucopia yeah, is pretty great. Here, take take my card. His shaking Absolutely. paw produces a, out of nowhere a card. It's oh, like that's a cool trick. C- call me if if you once your vacation's done because I know you're you're kind of stuck. <laughs> Sorry, man. A lot of people know that we're here. Okay, yeah. Boy, we're probably being washed around every corner, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, like you wouldn't wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see that security <gasps> yeah. footage. Yeah. You don't even need a scry. So <laughs> yeah. All right, I yeah. go in one of the bathroom stalls though, real quick before okay. we leave. Yeah, I do you actually. Actually, to... going to use it or you're going to y- abuse it? I'm oh, gonna, I'm going to abuse it. I'm okay. going to write on there. Um, I'm watching you. Hey, gray matter. I'm in the other stall. Yeah. Give me your wrenches. Wrenches? Yeah. All right. I pull them out and I hand need some the wrenches. Sack of sacks. You're going to need a 10 millimeter. Oh, mil, mil. The one mil. that's always missing. Yeah. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah. The- I'm sorry. I don't have a 10 millimeter, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I have a nine. Well, it's that's not, not going to work. Big enough. Well, Look, I- if you strip it, it's not going to work. Yeah, nines is not even going to fit to strip. I'll tell you okay. what. If uh, you go underneath, uh, go to the third sink, reach underneath, there's a small <laughs> toolbox. There's a 10 millimeter there because everybody always seems to forget. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm just going to let the back system flow into the sack of sacks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, and now we've got everything else we need for the rest of the dungeon. Nice. Although, Here, start grabbing although I think the shield's in the sack of sacks, so... It's in one of the sacks of sacks. It's yeah. Fine. Oh, you got the infinite sack of sacks. Yeah. Nice. 
Too bad they don't. They only hold. What is it? Five gallons. Yeah, each. Yeah. That's okay. There's an infinite bunch of shit filled sacks now. You didn't need sacks. You need saddlebags. Oh no, this is fine too. It's gonna leak out as as we go to go to dump it. Oh, definitely. That's perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. can perforate them like those grocery sacks, and they can just go everywhere, and that'll uh-huh. make it easier yeah. for you. A gingerbread man, follow your trail home. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right. Wait, someone cast Turbo Horse on me. I can make really quick work of this. <laughs> I can cast uh, Wall Walker on you. Oh my god! Spider horse, spider horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, Cookie can run on the ceiling and let it rain, poop, yeah. and pee, and gross shit okay. all over the dungeon. You are at half speed, but yes, I can cast. It was Leroy that wall gave walker. Full speed, one hundred forty flying horses. Leroy had expeditious retreat. Yep. Yeah. So right. yeah, I will go ahead and cast that on Cookie. It'll be fun. And let the desecration continue. Oh god! Now I do have to take Cookie a shit. Hang on. Can I ride on right. you? And yeah. I'm gonna hold hold the saga sax on down. And you guys do rain, that. It's raining right. shit. Have have fun, yes. everyone. Thanks, Fang. Appreciate hey, it. Hey, no problem. She has it best. I'll kill her later. I say in work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me know when. <laughs> Am I suspicious at all? Can I roll for that? No, say? you don't no. speak work. I know, <laughs> but I just want to know if I am like. Mm. Uh, I'll let you roll, but you got to roll really, okay. really good. Yeah. I'm assuming 10 is not good enough. No. I said really, really good, not yeah. mediocre. Not average. <laughs> Worth a try. No mm-hmm. witnessing you. All right. All right. So using Crease map here, you're in the bathroom. Yep. Where are you going? Well, we have to go down. Uh, we're going back to that whole uh, erase yeah. montage thing. Yep. yep. So go that way. Then we go up into that big room. This 20... is the secret door. Yeah. Go to the secret door. 24 this... feet past the secret door is another door. And this is the trap room you don't want to go to. And that's the trap so... door we don't want. So we want this room. All right. You walk in through here? Yep. You walk into the, and you go through that. You see the exit. Do you wish to take the exit or do you wish to continue to the very bright room? Well, it's the room that's got to have the treasure, which is in yep. the, the boss room, right? Yes. As, so, yeah, that's where we're going to be having. I'm just going to wait there for everybody else to get back from, like, <laughs> literally flinging poo across this great nation. After that montage, all right, we had all that shit all over the place, Dad. You literally wiped it on the walls. I mean, this is like... Talk about your toilet humor. Yeah, we need so this one's like fart okay. sounds in there too. Is that something that we can acquire? Editor, maybe <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Our main issue for this entire episode was figuring out pronouns, and I think that this entire episode is just should be called "Get Your Pronouns Straight." I'm they them. Yeah, they them. Yeah. Even though I, I lean towards masculine. You know what I mean? I, I'll, I'll stick anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Well, I'm not blunt everybody now because I don't have a point on my nose anymore. It's all right. It's all right. It actually probably caused more damage, though. No, not really. It's okay. I just got to take you to the Jerry Stabbings equivalency here in town, and we'll get you reforged. It's okay. It's okay, Blue Knife. You're the point to this whole party. We got a (laughs) fun. But my point was cut off. So now we don't have a point until you get your. We didn't have a point. Because you're important to us. More magic swords. More magic swords. Not as important as me, though. You're walking into this huge room. Um, hold on, let me get the dimensions. Oh, as we're all covered in shit, blood, <laughs> vomit, pee. We're going to get infected if we get stabbed. Oh, 100%. Probably already are. Let's be honest. Man, you guys- I'm, I'm going to need to throw my face in the wash. I think I, think I feel <laughs> pink eye coming on. Conjunctivitis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, from what you can gather because of the size your of this face. room. face, how do you wash your face? Don't. Soap and water, silly. Oh, okay. Showers. Right? Yeah. Water drops from f- waterfalls. Rain uh, drops you falling on my head. head. Do, do, do. All right. So you walk in this room. about, from what you can tell, do the bright white. It seems to be 72 by 72, if not more. Uh, the whiteness of the whole room, including the grid on the walls, <laughs> throws you off. Everyone make a notice check. The monster doesn't have the treasure, so I can't open this treasure in here. And it's not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, it's okay. Goodbye. Ooh. Bad. Is that what I do? You almost created on that one. That was a bad fail. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen. Uh-huh. Eight. Five. 
It's the conjunctivitis mm. is messing up my notice checks. <laughs> Kreeth is the only one who notices that there is a not quite as bright white section, and it seems to be slowly walking towards the group. I will raise my heckles and... Your heckles or your hackles? Both, because as soon as it gets closer, I'm going to say your mama jokes. Okay. It's <laughs> definitely gotten closer. Uh, your, your mama so so troll. Uh, internet. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Kreeth? Kreeth's right. not the smartest. No, but who are you talking to? <laughs> that... That thing, it's getting... You've had better jokes, honestly. Well, yeah. (laughs) And it's approaching. Oh, shit. You can barely see this. It almost looks like a a white fluffy cloud in a very bright lit area. So it's white on white. Wow. No Mm. shadows. Did you tell us that something's there then? I'm pointing like pointer dog. And hey, we're here today to see if you would like to join our lovely party here. Um, I heard you put an application... And we have reviewed it um, and are very interested. Don't listen to the lies of our rat folk. We've actually come to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> I, if it lunges, I'm going to intercept and take the first hit. <sighs> so uh, you, you don't see this coming so much as feel it, uh, but you can't intercept it either. A uh, spear lands near you. It's not very big, but it's oh. still significant. So at that point, initiative. This is going to go on your quarterly review. Thirteen. Nine. Eight. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, it's either me or Cookie getting twos on initiative today, okay? So no, I'll what take is it, it with this that? time. It's my turn. First. I'm just sitting back here trying to think up clever I'm jokes. going to rush and attack. Twelve. You hit it, but it can't tell if you did any damage to it. <laughs> Mine was eight. All right, Cookie, you go. It's your turn. I'm going to throw a sack of shit on it. I was wondering if you're <laughs> yeah. still on the ceiling, because that was exactly my plan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this will be more of a dodge. Go ahead and roll. I don't think I have a throwing. I guess it would be agility, right? Yep, just agility. Okay, I can do that. Twelve. All right, you managed to hit it, and uh, since it doesn't do any damage, oh. you all can see it a lot clearer because it's uh, it wasn't going to do any damage as much as it was going to mark the target a little better. So you now what looks like a brown tampon walking around. <laughs> Wait, it was, it was partially invisible before, right? Partially, it's it's. You were able to de- detect where it was, so you weren't getting any negatives for hitting it. But you could really couldn't really make it out. Now that it's been hit with something that's not white, you get this. Uh, imagine a piebald Bigfoot. Okay. Yeah. Is only that- only the piebald part is is the brown is not natural to it as much as it's covered in a, somebody else's feces. Good, gotcha. So uh, I um, had a two, so it's gray matter. Yeah, gray matter. It's your turn. Yep. Um. I don't really have all that much uh, magic anymore, so I guess I'll just try to hit with the crossbow. Was it loaded, or were you too busy throwing shit around? Oh, no, it's definitely not loaded, so okay. I will pull it out and tell him, like... Wait a minute, give me an action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're loading your crossbow. Loading my crossbow and telling him that, um, you know, he's doing very poorly on this interview. Mm-hmm. Um, so he needs to rethink things here. <laughs> All right. Uh, that, that Not too late turn. to join. It swings at gray matters and uh, well, misses because it was too angry from whatever it was saying. Yeah, I believe that makes it your turn there, Hogan. All right. Uh, how close is it to me? You can use it to close the ground and stab it, or do you want to use your bow? What do you want to do? I don't have shooting, so I can't use the bow effectively, but I do have a bag full of poisonous gas. Okay. So I'm going to run up, and I'm just going to stick that bag over his head and cinch it tight. Okay. Let me do a fight, a strength. A fight, and then uh, strength to see if you can actually get it on there. Okay, uh, that's a seven. Probably not going to make it. Oppose me. No, you don't do it. Okay, I didn't think so. so. Which brings us back around. Put this on your face! I mean, okay. Not you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Kreeth wants to die. Gas exposure. 
All right, so what are you doing? I'm going to just grab whatever part I can see in my mouth. Okay. Including the parts that are easy to see. Fighting. Go. And oh, no. Uh, that's a miss. Five. Oh, yeah, it's a miss. Cookie. How many magic missiles do I have? Is that like a spell-like ability you had once per day? or? Um, it's I have like a fake unicorn horn. That shoots a magic missile. Oh, okay. It's a wand. Um, I have three a day down. So All right. Then you have two left, because you've already used it once, okay. if I remember correctly. Okay. I would like to magic missile then. Okay. Ah. There we go. The thunder of Cookie's magic missile. Yeah, magic missile. Six. Dude. All right. You splatter some shit, and you think there's a little bit of red mixed in there now. You hear a... Gray matter. Yes. Well, I got my my crossbow out and let's try to st- hit him. You can do it. I'm just going to go ahead and use a Benny for once this time. Eight total. Bounces right off. Eight. That was just a warning shot. Should just threw shit at him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he hitting? Well, it's kind of a freebie I get to choose. I'm, I'm going to say it's, uh, since you're the last one, it's going to go after you again, Gray matter. There's it's because I'm the leader. You're the leader. Yeah. Yeah. You got it, Gray. <laughs> Show us how it's done. Oh, no. That's a, that's a lot of showing us. Uh, eight, 16. Ouch. Use your vigor, to, vigor to, as this thing comes down and claws you, covered in you know, its own blood and feces, rakes your little rat folk body. So no turn for you next turn. It's okay. So yeah, I'm still sitting there with the, the bag of poisonous gas, so I'm going to continue to try and stick it over his head. Grapple this guy. Twelves. You uh, you managed to hit. Or you, you're in the position. Now use your strength to get over his head. That's technically your damage. Yes. And I got two bennies just for this, bud. What's with monkeys in this dungeon? This is a troll. Nine bennies. No, hold still. No, no. Oh, shit. Ooh. Thirteen. That's Doesn't eight. that eight and explode? This explodes. Sorry, it aces. So, fourteen. Uh, four- no. <laughs> two and a one again. Good God. He's just letting me so do it. Releasing you're, you're sitting him. there. You're, you're, you're. <laughs> on top of this thing, you feel the slime of the ooze and sewage you have on it. The blood is, you know, it's irony. Uh, but <laughs> this weird hair is extremely silky soft, and it, it, it's almost inviting to just give it a big old hug. But you're not trying to do that as you try to take your bat or sack of sacks and place it over the head. You manage to get on there and cinch it tight, and it's it's struggling. So now that you actually got it on there, let's go ahead and do a damage roll. What does this damage do? Yeah, what was the damage on the poisonous gas bag? I didn't actually think we'd use it today. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> you mean you didn't plan for this? No. Uh, I don't know. Well, if the bomb two, is 2d20. Two two, 2d8s? Two or d eight? I don't know. How about 2d12? Should we do 2d12? Uh, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's do 2d12. Two yeah. two okay, 12. let me dig those out here. It's rancid. Because it's it's still a lot of damage, I am assuming. It's just putting mustard gas over someone's head. A bag of mustard gas has been released over the Yeti. It's a ketchup gas. Ten. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. So many ones. Well, that's a seven. Yeah, but the other one's a one. Still not, it's not enough to, to, to for him to not take some damage, so you st- start hearing it coughing. You can see the, the sack just wrap around its face as it sucks in and trying to breathe and having a hard time. So you get a good view of a of the face mm-hmm. wrapped in whatever the sacks are made out of, this mm-hmm. weird polymer. Te- the, the, yeah. yeah, the testicle bags, yeah. All right, Kree, what are you going to do? <laughs> I pull the string. What string? The leg. And okay. dr- drag it around. Eleven? I'd say you successfully grabbed it. Now uh, roll uh, air quote damage to see what would happen, actually, if you can... If you can Haul him around. That's an ace on the 12. 20. You manage to pull him around. He's really heavy. I uh, pull him and start just dragging and tearing him, trying to rip the leg off by its ball and socket joint. He is heavy enough to where even you with your weight, it's hard to get a quick pull on it. Like if it was somebody, say, Gray Matter side, that leg would be right off. Mm -hmm. Don't remind him how squishy I am. So you're you're sitting there dragging him around and nice brown stains circling the, the group. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, your turn. Stabbing time. Stab him. Okay. Stab, stab, stab. Okay. Maybe he's a little disoriented with having a bag over his head and being pulled in a different direction. And poisoned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she makes him knock out uh, gas next. Sneak attack still a thing. 
I, I would say you could have a sneak attack of some sort, so at least some sort of bonus, because this creature does not know that swords come out of your body, neck, okay. mouth, thing. It also can't see anything. It's hard of hearing, and it's on the ground prone. Yeah, yeah, that good point. It's definitely <laughs> prone at this point. I feel like this is a coup de grace situation. Okay, let's see if I can hit it first. Nine. Uh, so you, you hit, um, you stab this thing as it's being pulled around, now do your damage. Okay, so this plus this. Okay, what kind of sneak attack damage? Because... Well, uh, in the- I, I would say if you if you manage to get through the toughness, uh, you'll be doing double damage. How's that sound? Okay. If you can pierce his hide. Oh, well, that was a suck ass roll. I got a two and a three. Okay, you feel the, ra- the you're using a rapier, right? Uh, it's a short sword. A short sword. Okay, even the short sword. You stab it with a short sword, and you can almost feel that bend as it's trying to go in, but it doesn't pierce and comes back out. Gray matter. What are you doing? Um, how how bad does he look? He looks shitty. Okay. Sorry, I had to wah, say that. Wah, <laughs> wah, wah. He's my last point to cast slumber. Go to sleep. Go <laughs> to sleep. I like to think the bag over his head probably helps with that too. <laughs> That's just the autoerotic asphyxiation. That's right. So, <laughs> bum, bum, well, it just bum. says to do. I don't know what I roll for that, but I guess it's got to have something to affect it. Yeah. Benny was spent. Ten. All right. Nothing happens. Okay. It's sitting there. Yeah. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Just gotta sleep. Just gotta fucking sleep. <laughs> You're weird. I'm just like trying to, to make Rama right. go to sleep. You, you see some of the blood stop flowing as much. After she casts uh, casts a spell, it seems to heal itself a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely struggling. You really. What are you gonna do? All right, bluter knife. I'm gonna need a solid one from you here. How you want me? I need you to burn it from the inside out. <laughs> Flame on. Copyright. All you, all you need to do. Hold on. That's copyright. All you got to do is... Pierce it. Yeah. Okay. And it's, so at, at this point, it's damage. Uh, see if you can do some... See if you get enough points to damage it. One Benny remaining. That one skipped over there. Stupid dice. And I will use the last Benny. That's strength and D8. So... 2d8 and a 6. Still not great, but it's a t- 11. It's pretty yeah. tough high. All right, then I'm just going to hold on to that bag a little longer. While he's trying to force that in, I'm going to jump on top of both of them mm-hmm. and try to add my weight to behind the bluter knife. <gasps> yep. Ooh. See the one. Ah. Seven to jump on top. You want to use one of oh, your pennies, maybe? You're not successful enough to do damage. Okay. So. Rerolls. Mm-hmm. 12 damage. Yeah, you, you managed to get through. Uh, roll a four slider. If you roll a one, you get the the bluter knife does the damage. Three. All right, you do some damage to him. It's not the bluter knife that goes into him, unfortunately, and uh, it, it's in there. It looks like it's trying to breathe. I'm going to stay on top, continuing to crush Hogan, okay. continuing to crush the troll, just using my weight to help Pen. Okay. I really appreciate it. You're used to it. I know. Okay. Stab. Um, it's technically crew to grow. I just want somebody to be able to pierce the hide. And the hide is fairly tough on this one. Not as tough as some people. Fifteen. Fifteen. You're sitting there watching the big war just bounce on top of the, the creature as well as Hogan. And you hear a little bit of crackling and blood and shit coming out. You find this small opening and you stick it in and suddenly the, the body shakes and stops. Fucking kill steal. I continue to like throw my weight into it over and over and over. Great. The, it's dead, bud. It's dead. Great. I've never had troll meat before. I don't know if it's really a troll. I It's troll-ish. I take I a sample. Smells okay, like. Take a sample. Yep, I, I dagger and just cut off a slice, put it in one of my bag of bags. I just leave the bag of bags okay. over the head. About 20 minutes into her trying to cut the skin unsuccessfully, 
Oh. What do you guys do? We're gonna have to actually like this is this is some tough stuff. Damn. Get Cookie, the, can you chew on it? Get the chainsaw. I can try. All right. Describe how you eat it. Describe trying to eat it. Yeah. Just eat up to the, where the head's at, so I can keep it in the bag. Well, what I would do is I take out where I stabbed from, and I try to get in from the stab wound. And so, like, I kind of just try to gnaw and kind of like <laughs> slurp the meat out through the stab wound. <laughs> okay. Um it's really hard since it was a small hole. Uh, the skin is really tough to pull through. But since you're a little more adapted to this, you can start taking chunks off. But it is the worst gristle you've ever had. You just can't seem to masticate it in anything you would describe as small enough to swallow. Hmm. This bitch is disgusting. Huh, yeah. will, will you will you just just spit it out in my bag here if you don't like it? <laughs> Thank you. May I make a troll spider monkey? So for the 20 minutes they do that, I will take bluter knife and as slowly as I can try to like cut the head off so it just stays in the bag and I can sense it shut. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm flaming on it. Yeah, that's great. It's like fucking trying to saw through stone. As Holy soon as shit. he flames on, it just kind of melts through like butter. Oh, well, God, that's easier. Yeah. So you managed to take Perfect. the head off. It stays in the bag. <laughs> now we have a semi-poisonous bag with some monster head in it. <gasps> awesome. Right. I need a sample of that one since it's clean. Almost Medusa. Or, I go Almost. back and get the spear. Okay. Yeah, we need the spear. And, and Thank you. you. can carry it up to gray matter. <gasps> stick, though. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Stick, I, though, the stick. I, I pick it up. I try <sighs> and I try to throw it. Where's the treasure at in here? There was supposed to be big treasure. Oh, big is relative. There's like 3,000 gold in that. Behind that panel there, left to the left of the door? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a nice little dual encrusted box. Why am I afraid you're going to actually like stab me with the spear when you bring it back? Damn. Yeah. Uh, cheap area, but not bad. I mean, 3,000, that's, that's good. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Halfway there to like one of the cloaks, maybe. Right? Yeah. You know, in any case, I feel like we did a good job in here, gang. Way to go, yeah. everybody. We really piled on for the last one. <laughs> nice. Now, spread more shit around. Yeah, we have three more bags of poop, so let's get let's finish this room. Yep. Finish the whole, get Woo! the windows. <laughs> yep. All right, you, uh, you make another mess of the room. You walk into the, uh, <clears throat> into the uh, gift shop to applause people. To, oh, that was great. You know, I, uh, what, what inspired you to actually I do all that? shake everything out of my fur. Same. You get cheers of applause. Like, oh, yeah, that was some of the best defiling of that room ever. We, very few people actually sit there. They, they usually try to keep everything clean and pristine. That was, it, it only took you four hours to do all that. Too bad you missed you know, some of the other things in there, but that's okay. Hey, I tell you what, I'll give you the pictures for free. Especially this one with uh, Kreef jumping up and down on you. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, no problem. All right. Uh, other than that... Uh, 10% off all everything in the gift shop, everybody, because we all were really, really well entertained. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah. You all you enter, you, you exit, you get uh, cheers of applause for people actually watching that. They offer you a free picture, uh, especially of that, that critical moment of, of Kreef landing on Hogan. Humping. trying to kill the monster. Yeah. yeah. Um, I need one of those. Cheers all around, <laughs> and... Now you've got your stuff. What are you, you going to do? You've got some time. Uh, Gray Matter's running back to the room to do some experiments on the stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go inconspicuously sit in front of a, a, a bush at OO Stuff Spellbounds after a shower with a bag full of loot and just wait to hear from um, somebody. I find a creek. Okay, you try to leave the city and you can't. Is there a creek or connect kennel in the city somewhere? Not accessible by you. You go through whatever parts of the town you can, and public uh, bath. Then uh, you're not allowed in the public bath. I think a shower in the room. Yeah, there's like the shower is literally huge in here. Just <laughs> but outside shower. Cookie, grab him. <laughs> Come on, get in here. Nope, nope, nope. Shh, 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 shh. See, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's not so bad. Get the shampoo. Grab the shampoo. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We'll save the face for last. 
Yeah, down the back, down this craft, that's it. Oh, he missed his spot. Yeah, I know, it's his paws. I hate getting his paws. Uh, no, 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 it's on his belly there. Uh, uh, yeah, I start that's to about shake you. every little bit of shampoo off. And don't forget hit. between his shoulder blades. Nope, and gotta hold him down. Wait, get his butt. Um, don't forget to wash his butt. I gotta hold him down, you get you scrub. Watch out for the animal plan. How am I supposed to scrub? <laughs> uh, here, put these loofahs on your feet. <laughs> okay, they're hoofahs. <laughs> hoofahs. <laughs> That is now a new weapon, the hoofa. <laughs> yes, I think uh, for a, a full encounter, it's probably me and Cookie having to hold you down in the shower in the room and scrub yep. you. Yeah. You spend about a, I'd say a good 45 minutes struggling and fighting. Everything gets wet and messy, and you finally get to the point where he can stop and just shake himself off. And as soon as that happens, you see everything kind of just slowly being cleaned up and fading off. And the room becomes pristine again. Hey. Thank you. I'm just going to take, was, like, yeah. a, one of Gray Matter's, like, markers or pens that they mm-hmm. use for writing. And just straight up right on the wall, like, stop cleaning. They won't release you. Strike. Strike for your rights to die. <laughs> uh, give me a second on that one. P.S. Hi, Leroy. Hi, Leroy, yeah. Everybody write Hi, Leroy, hi, 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 Leroy on the wall. Yeah. Hi, Leroy. Hi, Leroy. Is that, this guy, is that mine? That's yours. Oh, shit. Hey. You see a selfie of Leroy. <gasps> Seems to have come from Grey Matter's phone. His eyes are filled with worms. His smile is filled with just pus and all stuff. And a big old text over goes, Hi. And that's it. He looks just like we remember. I mean, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Only he used to have eyes instead of worms. Well, he always had worms, but not in the eyes. Maybe. Or what? Yeah. Are there spirit worms? I thought they incinerated his body. I don't know. Are they spirit worms? Do they incinerate bodies? Oh, yeah, they definitely do that. Okay, fair. Yeah. I don't know, I guess ghostly imagery and whatnot. It could be a corporeal uh, expression of how he feels about himself since he's sitting there being labored away. He wishes he was being eaten by worms instead of cleaning. Or is that too existential? That's dark. I like I <laughs> uh, the way Leroy would want it. Probably. Yeah. I looked up wistfully, cocking my head. All right, do you make yourself, make your way to... An establishment like O.O. Spellbound. Yeah, and like I said, just to make okay. sure I, I go to that same same one the first time, and I grab the chair next to that bush and uh, are, hang I'm out. assuming all three of you are going, right? No. No? No. Okay. I think it'd be better. No, I take you, out of the you, you can be so extra can in background voices if you want. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going to shower there, Cookie? Yeah. Okay. You get there, you order a... Uh, uh, let me get a double non-conspicuous extra dark roast. Yes, a double non-conspicuous dark roast. Coming right up, please. You Mm. forgot to get his name. We can't get the good news. It's Hogan. Oh, oh, okay. Um, For Hogan. 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 All right, all right. Come on. Give give us five minutes. Uh Uh-huh. Yep, yep. Um, Put put extra conspicuous. Extra. Did he he, he say a a single conspicuous or double non-conspicuous? Double conspicuous. Double conspicuous. Okay, okay. They never remember their own order. Okay, great. Um, Here you go. A double conspicuous, just like you ordered. That'll be three gold pieces, please. You were supposed to take the money beforehand. Uh, This is your fifth infraction today alone. I'm surprised we haven't fired you now. Okay. You're not supposed to just hand it to him. You got to call out their name. What was his name? Yeah, me. Hogan. Yes. Oh, you did it wrong again. Hogan. You're not even supposed to use their real name because we've already got five other Hogans. Oh, um, Grogan. There we go. That's better. Grogan. Grogan. Yeah, Grogan here. Hi. Grogan, hi. This uh, is your last chance. Uh, I want you to know that. Uh, okay, okay. And I go to hand it to you and trip and fall and spill it all over you. I'm so used uh, oh, to this, strangely. Uh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Here, let me clean that up. Uh, uh, That's the uh, one right thing you've done all day. Uh, uh, do I clean it up or do I make him a fresh one first? You just make him a fresh one. Make you can him clean a fresh himself up. Okay, okay. Uh, be right back with your single espresso thing. Now, if it was an elf, then you would clean them up and apologize. Oh. But since oh. it was an elf, you just, uh, you just sh- fuck him. Do okay. I expect to be flayed if it's an elf? If you don't clean it up, expect to be flayed. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Um, you can end up like my grandfather, he, working forever. He did say uh, caramel macchiato. Uh, I think it was a, it was a, uh, uh, corporalite diato. Okay, close enough. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, uh, Pogan? 
Pogan, we got your uh, uh, Groganite. Now make sure you don't drop it this time. The second one oh, you're supposed sorry, to get. No, I, I ordered the double, not the double conspicuous with dark roast. That's what this is. These has a corporal. Double conspicuous. Uh, just writing it doesn't change it, though. Um, no, nah, I'm sorry. I'm just going to go sit. Never mind. But you didn't pay. Uh, I didn't get the coffee. I'm not taking it. Coffee? That'll be four gold off of your paycheck. You, did, you got it all wrong. You're supposed to offer them a replacement for free. You didn't do that, so all right, it's done. Oh. I can't I'm not getting paid just again. Just because of who your mother is, we have to keep you here. Hmm. Oh. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> so you're sitting down, coffeeless, drinkless, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, roll a notice. Seven? Uh, okay. You're, <clears throat> you kind of think you saw. There's a lot of people sitting around, uh, and then a group of elves walk through, and one of them just has a weird. It looks like he's wearing goggles and a face mask of some sort and he's scanning around but then walks away about five minutes after that you hear a <clears throat> hey Hogan yeah what'd you score this time I got a blessed shield that I can't touch because it'll burn my skin oh you're one of <laughs> yeah I understand those uh yeah did you take it to Mame Stop yet no 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 I think the only people that know we got it were the people who ran the dungeon uh and we did uh, such a good job of entertaining I don't know if they're gonna really care oh okay okay hey uh, uh before we get too deep into this uh-huh. man uh, yeah tell me how uh how apt are you at uh finding Spider silk cloaks. You see, uh, like in the middle of nowhere, this veil opens up. I can get those. And it closes back up. I like the cut of your jib, sir. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm a... Now, if I just leave this bag right here and just so happen to wind up with a spider silk cloak in exchange for a certain shield... Well, <clears throat> it's worth more than the shield. Well... What you want? I'm going to need about 10K. 10K? I think you've got that. I think we do. Cherry, Just got that. Cherry, we got, we got your a little bit water. left over from Leroy's funds. Mm. I didn't want water. Uh, I wanted to hide oh, thank you. I'm going to oh. talk to the manager. Cherry, we got your so, hydrogen uh, monoxide. Yeah. Oh, All right, tell you what. Uh, oh. Let me just kind of throw this bag down inside this bag. And that might do enough for you. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, I know where your room is. A uh, package will be there within the next 24 hours. Fantastic. Hey, don't throw that shield up on the market just yet. They're paying attention too much. Oh, you got it. You got it. I'll take care of you. I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but I got shit to do, and I got five, only five days left. I understand. Are you going to get one of those ex- leisure extensions? Not going to be able to afford a leisure extension, but um, might still be able to find a way to just hang around. Hey, a uh, bit of a hint. Mm-hmm. If you want to be able to afford that, there's a... Uh, you haven't gone through door six, have you? Nah. So anything above that should give you enough. How many are in your party? Four of us. What about that little rodent you have? Oh, five, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that should get you enough for uh, the uh, small extension. Oh, the whole the whole party? Mm-hmm. Just that one little... Wow. Yeah. Wow, well, door six, huh? Well, if you could fit in a shade, which is almost impossible, that, that would do it a few times over. But that's... I think we plan on doing everything but the final boss in eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you still have to do eight, but yeah. Everybody uh, likes the back door. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, thanks, bud. Appreciate this. No problem, no problem. Um, I'll have that to you. Uh, hey, by the way, that elf that had the mask and goggles on, is that someone uh, scanning? Oh, yeah. they. Uh, that's one of the few ways they have to detect. Uh, he's got spider goggles. Oh. Yeah. It's rare because it's, it's not reversal to once you put them on. 
Oh, so if I were to get a pair, I have to yank them off of someone's face with their face attached. Uh, yeah, and it kills both the spider and the person. They become a, what's that word? A semi-bonic, symbiconic, whatever. They, they work together. Ew. Yeah. There's a. Uh, there's not very many of them. Yeah, I can understand why now. Ew. Yeah. I have an order for Frank. Oh, I have Frank an order here. For Frank. Frank. Yeah, it's Frank, large, right here. Large fervor. Yeah. Large fervor. Okay. Um, that's uh, seven gold pieces. For. Yeah, seven gold. Here you go. Thank you. Here you go. You come back. The bag is gone. It's just a liter of cola. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fork as Nigel Gambitar, Blue Jackson as Leroy Jenkins, Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef, Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie, Robin Fry as Ram Man, Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage, Victoria Fish as Grey Matter, your district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward. In 400 feet, Take a left turn into Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental music, Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at WSN Podcast on Twitter. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. You can reach us at thenecromanticempire at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash time of your half-life. This has been the Radioactive Shack production. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doo doo doo. Check out Roll for Stupid, a not so serious DD podcast, which sees a bunch of Aussie mates with varying levels of charisma attempt to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Here's a little taste of the highs and lows, laughter and cringe worthy moments that make for an unforgettable adventure. And if you like what you hear, search for Roll for Stupid wherever you listen to your podcasts. Why don't you want to stay up in the back right now? It's giving me real bomb vibes. Snail uh, races. Snail racing. Yeah, snail races. Snail I'd like to go see the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kill them all! <laughs> I'm like, yeah.